Well, um, I have a Nexus 9, and I do have the version 2, uh, you know, so uh, that I, and I bought it actually last year at Christmas. It was for a Christmas gift and everything for myself. And um, July 15th, there was an update. And um, I usually just for Google products, Nexus, I think, okay, it's got to be okay. Just mm-hmm. click and let it let it work. And um, so then I got, um, you know, after it went through all this stuff and started to restart, I got a note. Only there it said system corrupted, oh. dan- dangerous to start. Oh. And then after a few seconds, it turned over to kind of a little android lying on its back with its <laughs> stomach. Open. I hate that logo. Why do they do <laughs> that? Know. Well, I've never seen it before. Oh, so, I have uh, until oh, now. But uh, and it's you know no command. So I I tried all the other stuff. You know the system restore, the return to factory settings from that root menu. I took it to HTC since HTC made this one, and I thought, cool, I'm in Taiwan. Um, <laughs> They're just down the road, and, right? Yeah, that's right. nice. Just, that's, literally, yes. That's um, nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I handed it to them. They said, okay, sure, we'll look at it. And then they ran the serial number, and they said, hey, where did you buy this? And I said, in the U.S. last year. Um, yeah, well, we can't fix it here. Uh, mm. We'll... We can have, you know, we'll send it there. And if you pay us 30, it's about 30 plus, 30, $35. Uh, when I think it's less than a year old, it's yeah. under warranty. It's a tablet. You know, tablets are for travel, people travel. And you're saying that don't take it out of the country. And that just sounds like a ripoff. I'm, and especially since it doesn't, I mean, it's the update, it's not really a hardware thing, or at least the chances of it being hardware. Tiny, tiny, slim. Well, and it's software, right? And something went wrong during yep. the yeah. update, and now sure. it, that happens. If you think about it, I mean, sure. files get corrupt. So that's right. What does he do? Well, I mean, it, I've, I've had a little PTSD hearing your story because this I had the same exact uh, thing happen to me a oh. few months back. The and little Android on its back. So oh, I have not X's one. Over its yes, eyes. exactly. Yeah. I have not one, but I have two Nexus Nines, and one Nexus mm-hmm. Nine got the update, and everything was great. Mm-hmm. The other Nexus Nine got got the update. This was a few months ago, a security update, and sure enough, same exact deal as you. Mm. Through a couple of weeks of doing all of the same things that you've probably done, uh, my only resort was was basically to do what you realized: send it to HTC, pay some money, have them no. replace it, whatever. Here's what happened though. Somewhere, you know, like a few days later, because I, I just out of principle, I didn't want to do that because right. I thought that was just lame <laughs> that I would have to do that. Um, Google has its Android Nougat developer preview. Uh, right now. And what we've realized, what we found out about the developer preview is that the the challenge without that particular flashing the um, the end developer preview onto the tablet is that you have to do all this stuff on the back end inside the tablet before it ever messed up, right? Like you have to uh, select OEM unlock in the settings, which would allow you to unlock the bootloader. But I hadn't done that, and maybe I'm, I'm assuming you probably had not either. Um, no. US, USB debugging in the settings that had to be there. If these things weren't there, and then your tablet breaks, you couldn't do anything manually to it yourself. Oh, that's but the Nougat developer preview <clears throat> overrides all that. <sighs> so if you go to, uh, this is this is the page that on Android developers, you can download the OTA this image. This is from Google. This is straight from Google. You download the OTA image for the Nexus 9, the Volantis, as oh, you see right it. there. Okay. And then have you ever worked with ADB um, kind of Android debugging tools? I'm assuming probably not. No. <laughs> no. So <laughs> I haven't. This is where it gets you a little. You need a Windows machine. It gets you a can little do geeky. it on a Mac. You can do it it's on a, a Mac. harder. Yeah, it's a little bit harder, but you can do it on a Mac. Mac That's doesn't have the device drivers that Windows does. So. Right, but really all you need is this ADB file. .adb, and uh, essentially, if you install the Android Studio package, which again, you can find on, on right. Google's um, Google site, it comes with that ADB file. So there's a little bit of extra trickery there as far as like using terminal. Mm-hmm. Like when I did this, I did it on the Mac. I had to go into mm-hmm. terminal and you know navigate to that folder and do an ADB command that essentially allows me to take that image and flash it mm-hmm. onto the tablet. So I'm not saying that it's the easiest thing in the world, right? but it's not impossible. And the second I did that, I rebooted, everything was working again. I was on the new version of Android, which kind of made it kind of cool. Uh, beyond yeah. that, if you really want to be on a stable version, you want to be on Marshmallow, uh, Google's made it really easy to opt into the beta and then opt right back out. And what that does is that that automatically sends the OTA of Marshmallow back to your device. So then you end up flashing back to mm. normal and you're, you're where you started. 
Let me ask you one thing. Have you tried, cool. Bill, to get into recovery mode on this yet? Um, I, well, I tried, yeah, return right. to factory settings mm -hmm. and then system restore. No, 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 no. This is harder system core than that. So you shut it okay. down and you press yeah. the on. Uh, it's completely shut down, right? You press the on off switch. This is not an, an Nexus 9, obviously, but it's the same idea. And the and the volume down at the same time, okay? Yeah. And the idea yeah. is you're going to go. That. You did do this, yeah. okay? And yes, you, and you wiped that. and you wiped the cache, and you wiped the data right. partition, and it still didn't fix it. Right. Okay. Yeah, so because somewhere on the OTA update, it corrupted the it image corrupted. file. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's that's exactly what happened with mine too. Yeah. So I, you know, as far as like working with ADB mm -hmm. and going into terminal to do this stuff probably sounds a little intimidating and I completely understand just a little bit of quick googling will will give you probably a very easy you know guide on doing that essentially mm -hmm. really what it boils down to is taking that OTA file and placing mm -hmm. it in the same folder on your drive as the ADB yeah. file and then you use terminal mm -hmm. to like go take this and this and put it on my tablet and it's done okay. you know this is interesting I, I did that on the ZT I got uh -oh. factory test mode hmm. I don't <laughs> What maybe, is that? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It says to, don't do that. It says to avoid this, please don't hold the volume down button <laughs> while you're starting up the phone. All right. You, so, you aren't wanted here. Yeah, Leopold. apparently there is no recovery on a ZTE phone. That might be another negative. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure there's a way I'm to get sure there's it. A way. And I'll visit there's XDA developers and find out. Yeah. So uh, that's about it. It's not hard to do ADB. Um, no. If you go to XDA developers or you Google it, you'll find the process for Mac or PC. Mm -hmm. You install a little software, you're gonna connect it via USB, and yep. really, it, it's, it's a way to kind of access, without the operating mm -hmm. system being on it, access the drive on the Nexus 9 and, right. and modify it. And that's what you need to do to okay. put the new ROMs on there. The, right. the cool thing is, once you go through this process, you learn another level of of yeah. Android, yeah. really, and uh, yeah. you know, it, it actually in some ways opens up other doors down the line if you want to get really geeky uh, with Android kind of <laughs> under the hood. And he doesn't need to do Nougat. He could probably find Marshmallow OTA. Well, that's the thing. You have to do the developer preview because it's signed oh, it's in the a way that, over that overrides Got all it. those settings Got that it. he didn't have set. Got it. And next, and so then once you're there, then you can revert. Mm, that's a tip there. for everybody. Before your <laughs> Nexus 9 or Nexus device crashes, what should we do? We should turn well, on debugging? Oh, yeah, USB debugging, which is in a secret developer menu. Yeah, yeah I've turned that on. Okay, what else? <laughs> and then there's uh, OTA unlock, which essentially, that isn't uh, unlocking your device, but that's basically you telling your device that you are willing to unlock your device okay. if you want to later. So to avoid um, future problems, if you have a, ne this would only work with a Nexus, probably. Uh, uh, maybe that's not. That's a good question. Some other devices. I, yeah, I mean, I've done it on the Nexus uh, many times. You have to have an unlocked bootloader. Right. Probably. That's that's yeah. the challenge. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck, Bill. Are you okay. uh, are you staying yeah. in Taiwan or? Yeah, I'll be here for a while. I'm 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 settled and enjoy it here. How fun! And your English is still good, but I bet your Chinese is great. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so pretty good. Yeah. I've been trying to guess. I can only see I'm not. Oh. I'm, I'm not, not arguing. arguing. I'm just I'm explaining why I'm right. Uh -huh. ah, okay. I need right. that T-shirt. <laughs> My brother gave it to me. He said it was perfect, <laughs> which which tells you something. <laughs> hey, it's really good to talk to you in, yeah. in uh, Taiwan. Okay. Thanks for joining us, sure. Bill. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, enjoy watching. Look yeah. how good the picture is. This drives me nuts, right? We get better Skype with people um, outside the U.S. than we do inside the U.S. Well, yeah, and actually I'm complaining because I'm... The only thing I can get is 10 meg here, and oh. I, you know, most of the neighborhoods around us can get the fiber, and I haven't got it yet. So, but soon. But yeah, in the U.S., that would be great. <laughs> yep, yep. 10 meg consistent with great with great download speeds. This yeah. looks good to me. Hey, thanks, Fantastic. Bill. Take care. Thank you, Bill.